Hey, it's Vicki, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some pork chops with pear chutney. So delicious. With the price of meat today, I tried to find recipes that are a little easier on the budget. Pork is kind of cheap right now. You just have to know what to do with it because sometimes it'll be all dry. This pork is gonna be succulent with a pear chutney is sweet with brown sugar and a little tang of vinegar. The pork chops are also going to be sweet but with a heat of chili. So perfect together. Let me show you how to make it. For this recipe, you want a thin cut pork shoulder blade steak. The bone in it is super bone, gives you lots of flavor. This is a very inexpensive type of pork. I noticed my butcher left a lot of fat. The first thing I'm gonna do is take some of that fat off. Thanks, butcher. Thanks for making me pay for things I don't need. Now that we got our blade steak all nice and trimmed, blade steak is great for this one. You just want a nice thin cut. Let's start on the marinade. It's a quarter cup of brown sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, tablespoon of chili, tablespoon of garlic. You see where I'm going with this? It's a sweet and spicy marinade. Think of teriyaki meats, chili meats, I don't know. It's good though. We're gonna need some salt and pepper. And to be real with you, I usually just eyeball these at home. I'm gonna show you how to eyeball yourself. I need a half a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to, not over my bowl, <laughs> measure out my salt. So that's a half a teaspoon. I'm gonna put it in the palm of my hand. So now I can see what a half of a teaspoon looks like. So the next time I want a half a teaspoon, I can just eyeball it. I'm generally right. Now I need a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but I just want half of that. Just like that. Now you know how to eyeball stuff. So when you make it at home, you can eyeball it. And of course adjust it. If you want it a little more sweeter, just add more brown sugar. In this recipe, I'm using a light brown sugar, but dark brown sugar is perfectly fine. It's just the difference of how much molasses is in it. And quite frankly, unless you're like making cookies or something, I really mm, switch back and forth between dark and brown. Just whatever I have never seems to bother the recipe at all. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the rub onto my pork steak. It's pork steak now, because I can't afford steak anymore. <laughs> so you just want to generously get that on there, use it all. We're gonna marinate it. I'm gonna let it sit out for about 15 minutes or so. You can keep it in the fridge for a couple of hours if you um, don't want to get to it right away. Rub it in. That's why it's called a rub. Uh -huh. Hardy bar, bar. Okay, let's make bear chutney. So I got a new toy for Christmas. Uh, any of my footy friends out there get something new for Christmas, <laughs> give me a comment below, let me know what treasure you got. For the chutney, it's going to be a half a cup of brown sugar, a third a cup of apple cider vinegar, a half a teaspoon each, ginger, cinnamon, and the chili, again, we're going with that sweet, spicy kind of thing, and a pinch of salt. So remember, pinch. Da -da -da, maybe like, that looks good. <laughs> Don't wanna add too much, because I'm actually gonna use canned pears. Now I got this recipe because here in Florida, we have hurricanes, and I, I'm trying to get rid of my hurricane supplies. And I end up with lots of canned things at the end of hurricane season, so I try to come up with recipes that will utilize those. I'm gonna save the juice, I'm gonna put it aside, and I'm just gonna chop these pears up a little smaller. Now you can, use, you can go ahead and use fresh pears. It just, it will just take longer because these are soft and almost there already. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my knife and chop them down teeny tiny. About that size looks good. In the pot you go. I'll eat. I started with a whisk to get that stuff together. I'm gonna go ahead and switch to a spoon now. All right, we're gonna let that sit on simmer, uncovered for about 20 minutes. 
that sugar and the vinegar, it's all going to reduce down, intensify in flavor. Perfect over those pork chops. After the pork steaks have absorbed all that rub, I'm gonna add a little olive oil to a nice hot pan. And we should hear a sizzle. I'm gonna do two at a time. Obviously, I don't have a choice. <laughs> They're done one at a time. They're really big. There, like that. Nice and brown. All right, when your last one is nice and brown, we're going to deglaze the pan with that preserved pear juice. I'm only going to use half of it. It's pretty sweet. Scraping up all the little bits on the bottom. That's good flavor there. I'm going to turn the heat to simmer. Put them all back in. Finish cooking for about 10 minutes. Oh, the house smells amazing. Oh, gee whiz. That's good. <laughs> See how the chutney has condensed down? You can smell the vinegar sweetness of it. That looks super good. Let's get a big one on there. Sure, why not? Yeah, look at that. Put some of the chutney on top. The stuff I make is what I make for dinner. So I also made mashed potatoes. I'll go ahead and leave that recipe up there. But while I'm here, sure, we're doing that. Yes, please. I say this because there's no way I'm getting rid of this lovely sauce here. That's some good stuff. Mmm, a little here too. And a little more. This is really good. <laughs> They're gonna love this recipe. It's one of my favorites. Born out of necessity. Great for New Year's because it means I'm going to have a prosperous New Year, right? Luck to me because I have pork. Wow, that sweet, spicy, vinegar tart. Mm. That is good luck. If that's not good luck, I don't know what good luck is. You're gonna love this recipe. Let me know what kind of pork you make for New Year's. I know a lot of people do it. Comment below. If you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell because you don't want to miss all the new videos. I'll see you next time. <laughs> I am. Um, oh, so good. I'm not going to have any left for pictures. <laughs> <laughs>